各位同乡，啊、呃，各位支持台湾直播的啊，前、呃、辈，大家好，啊、呃，时间过得足紧的，即卖已经三月七日，两千十四年，啊，我是赖英辉，真久不跟大家见面，伫遮甲大家请安，身体健康，啊、呃，希望啊、呃，大家继续支持着咱对台湾的热情，一直甲台湾啊。呃会当予咱感觉讲做一个台语人足强哦，啊，咱嘛足幸福个台湾人个时阵，才会当放手。今日我有足荣幸，要伫遮来啊访问台湾基友会会长。伫洛杉矶个社区内底，足济活动中间，咱拢会看到这位美国人，伊足有耐心，坐伫遐语言听无个所在，伊嘛是甲咱伫遐坚持甲挥耍才走。这些是互我足感动的，所以啊、呃，我今仔日足荣幸伫只 interview Mr. Ted Anderson。啊，以后这个 interview 的中间，我是用英语来甲伊讲吼，所以啊、呃，我想应该大家拢啊会当了解 Mr. Anderson。Yes. Happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. I understanding you just celebrate your 90 years old birthday on the February 24. That's correct. You have anything to say about your birthday? <laughs> well, her uncle used to tell me a lot many times, "Live a long time, but never get old." And that seems very good for me to remember <laughs> too. <laughs> never get old. <laughs> Live a long time. Uh, I always uh, very interesting to know that uh, why you always participate in our activity and uh, you also uh, in the year of 2000 accept your first term of president of uh, Friends of Taiwan. Uh, there anything happened in your life um, that make you accept uh, this position and involve yourself in the Taiwanese community? Oh, yes, I think it start it had to start it when I'm a member of the Alliance Club and the governor called me and said, Ted Anderson, would your club be willing to sponsor a new uh, a Chinese club, and I'm, I'm quoting him now, okay. Chinese club from uh, in, in, Los, in the city of Los Angeles wants to come to San Gabriel. And I said, well, I don't know, I'll ask them. And so I went to my club and asked them would they sponsor and they said, Yes, we'd be happy to. Mm -hmm. So I called the governor and told him that yes, our club will sponsor this new club. And he said, fine, that means you have to be the guiding lion to that club, which means I have to participate in all their events for two years. Uh -huh. And I said, oh my goodness, you know. Uh, I sat through many, many meetings, so their club didn't understand a word, uh, but nevertheless, I read body language pretty well. <laughs> So I was able to deal with, with that issue. Now, I, <clears throat> while I was there and participating with them, getting them started, helping them to get their charter, and sometimes I find Taiwanese people no different than other people when it comes to be, being stubborn. Mm, okay. Being stubborn. <laughs> well, that goes around, it comes around. I kept telling them they wanted to name their club the Taiwanese Lions Club of Greater Los Angeles. I said, that won't go, that won't go. And they kept kept on, kept on. I said, look, if you don't make your, put your name up, what's gonna happen is that International will give you a name. And so therefore it came out San Gabriel Taiwanese Lions Club. I see. That's how it went. Now, from that, there's three gentlemen that helped, that helped me to really understand who who are the Taiwanese people, and what their what their goals are, and etc. And how they did that, the, these three gentlemen um, sent my wife and I to Taiwan, and when I was there, when history was made, March of 2000. Okay. And I don't mind telling them mm -hmm. the names of these gentlemen because I have the I still have the greatest respect. One of them was uh, of the gentleman that. Um, T, his name is Tian Tian Xian. He's a CPA firm in Los in El Monte there. Mm -hmm. Tian Xian, and then the other one everybody knows was Frank Wong, Double Tree Hotel. Mm -hmm. 
And the third one was William Singh. <coughs> and he was from out on Ontario, but I don't know what he did. Mm -hmm. Catherine, may, Catherine may know him. Okay. They, they sent okay. us to all expense paid to, ta to Taiwan. And uh, I was there for the election. And uh, I was very, very uh, pleased with the crowd. It was in the soccer stadium in Taipei. Mm -hmm. it was, I was there too. Oh, yeah. it was loaded with people. Mm -hmm. I was so impressed. And um, when we were coming in, there was no seats for us because you know, there was a Jack Lou who used to be here mm. and his brother were taking us through to get a seat. And I, we, we couldn't find a seat, so you know how they have cement benches? Mm -hmm. Well, they picked mm -hmm. my wife up and picked her up, up to the top <laughs> of the window. What and, a event. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't step up. You know, we got off the steps and we're just at the seats. And that high step, I couldn't do it. Uh -huh. And the next thing I knew, they were picking Pick you up. Yeah, oh. I see. Mm -hmm. In order to get you to, to get up to the yeah. top where yeah. we were. And there was no, there. But when we got up around, like all the, the seats on the rim were filled. And Jack Lou's brother went up there, next thing I know, there were a whole bunch of seats open for us. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that was my experience. And I, I was so impressed that I didn't see, an, uh, um, at the, at the, I didn't see any military people dressed in military clothes. I didn't see any police officers dressed at least in, in police garb. Mm -hmm. And with that much crowd, I would, as I said, my goodness, uh, this would never happen in, in the United, United States. 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 We are pretty disciplined. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yes. And so that started. At, mm -hmm. But while we were there, we took a complete tour of Taiwan. I see. But uh, no expense to them. It was our expense we did. Mm -hmm. And I, we, we started out in Tainan, in Kaohsiung, and Sun um, Moon Lake. Huh? Sun oh, yeah, Moon Lake. Sun Moon Lake. Is that your first time to Taiwan? Yes, yes. our yes, first time works. to Taiwan. Okay. And the purpose was to be acquainted with the people and and uh, to find out what it is. And there is a little town of Walen. I told my wife, I didn't live here. <laughs> and it was a clean city, very well organized. I don't know what it is now, but at that time it was good. So that was in 2000, right? 2000. So it was 14 so. years ago. We just so traced that stay the same. <laughs> So I, that's how I got started. I see. I started. Then, then uh, through the Lions Club, I introduced they introduced me to to uh, a Taiwan, you know, Taiwan Economic and Cultural Organization. I see. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's government official here, yeah, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. In Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and uh, introduced me to other people who were active in in uh, the active in in trying to get the United States to understand what Taiwan is about. Okay. That, that was best basically it. That was probably the uh, organization uh, uh, philosopher for the Friends of Taiwan, yeah? Yes, that's what, mm -hmm. you know, and the name Friends of Taiwan was instituted by Annette Liu, the vice president of Taiwan. That's where it started. I see. That's it, but we carried on, and we're a non-profit organization. Okay. Uh, it, it, so that's how I got it. But I was so impressed in March of 2000 when I was riding with cab drivers who expressed their feelings. It was the, it was a, you know, I'm pleased to know that they had a, a, a warm spot in their heart mm -hmm. to accomplish it. I am a person who firmly believes that justice, uh, human rights, Mm -hmm. Civil rights mm -hmm. and and a I won't use the term independence, but a feel of democracy, mm -hmm. uh, where you have the vote of the people, not of just one person. Right. And that's how I really got started in it. I my background is international relations, and I I you know, felt that when I got into really knowing what the Taiwanese people wanted, at least the leadership. I, I don't want to say the people because I didn't know what the people wanted, but the leadership did. And uh, <clears throat> there was a time when I was brand new and the, the meeting people, word went around that I was an undercover agent for 
for Taipei Economic and Cultural Organization. I didn't know anything about that, but that's what they are spreading the rumor. And that actually oh, is that right? I didn't know that oh, the rumor yeah. was... I, I was told this. I, uh, so you are actually involved into uh, Friends of Taiwan's uh, organization during the DPP empower them, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's correct. That's correct. And uh, it was from there. And I'm not a kind of a per I, I have to ex really explain to, to people, I am a strong believer in utilitarian democracy. Mm -hmm. And what does that mean? That means the greatest good for the greatest number of people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so when I saw what was happening, and I had studied some things that uh, General MacArthur, memo number one, he had sent to, to Chiang Kai-shek, uh, I read a book, um, not, not uh, Formosa Betrayed, but Lords of the Rim. Mm -hmm. And I have a book copy of that. And I saw what what Governor, what General MacArthur had sent done by releasing a Japanese officer from prison. And I won't go tell you, so go into why he was released, but Chiang Kai-shek requested that. Mm -hmm. And so uh, that, I, I do, I despise a, 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 a government that does not allow people to have an opportunity for the a fair play. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <clears throat> for instance, just recently, I went into the, our, my computer and I wanted an organizational chart of Taiwan. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and holy monk Moses, here is a country that has 23 million people, yes. but they have all of these committees and, uh, how do you pronounce it, yens? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. You know, and and they don't have any power. And so I mm -hmm. said, oh, anyway, that, uh, and I got to know, when I got to know the people here uh, and what they mostly really wanted, that's that's where I began to have a compassion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To, to understand people. Now, we all don't agree on issues, mm -hmm. but nevertheless, we have the we can at least listen to each other, and if I do my homework right, I will, I'll be successful. And if they do their home right, homework right, they will be successful in mm -hmm. my discussions. <coughs> but um, and you know, I, I have uh, over the years I've worked in, uh, in well, you have my, you have my bio person, right? There where where I worked and. Uh, some of the things I've done. I was a city councilman. You're here in city in San Gabriel city councilman, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you also. I thought you work for a lot of uh, federal agency that associate with the city of Great Los Angeles. Then. Yeah, yeah, these agencies were, but uh, these were unpaid jobs. Ah, that's they all were, volunteer. Yeah, mm -hmm. volunteer. The ones that with the government, the workforce investment board, yeah. private industry council, right, et cetera, et cetera, and. Uh, that's why I stayed with they, the Taiwanese Alliance Club wanted me to stay with them after my club had folded, mm -hmm. and so I did. So are you still the member of San Gabriel Taiwanese no, Alliance Club? No, I'm not a member, but they're encouraging me to come back. I see, but and you I'm are the funding uh, member and guiding lion for this founding, uh, yeah. club, I see. So they were able oh. to maintain San Gabriel Taiwanese Lion Club, mm -hmm. the name mm -hmm. of the Taiwanese mm -hmm. Lion Club. That was very great. Mm -hmm. But you asked me a question, you know, why I... I, I would do this for any country that mm -hmm. has a strong compassion to want for fair play, mm -hmm. justice, and that that seemed to be very uh, very open. And uh, I guess the way they they worked with me and I worked with them, so because I can tell you, I say to anybody honestly that it took a while for me to develop a relationship for me to trust them and them to trust me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Once that was established, I think I can say about what I want without any trouble. They know where my heart is and not my mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you hold this justice and the fair and democracy is a high value for you. And oh yes. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah. then you, you uh, can uh, understand what Taiwanese people are fighting for like before 2000, and then you witnessed the change of power in the year of 2000. Mm -hmm. And do you feel any different at the uh, 
government of Taiwan today and at this uh, and, <laughs> and when the uh, DPP in power? Do you can you tell the difference? Well, I don't think DPP is in power. Mm, no, no, not this time. That, that's KMT is in KMT, power. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a good question. I'll tell mm -hmm. you. I <coughs> I don't know how to even. No, I, I don't know if you were told, but I wrote a letter to President Mao uh -huh. requesting a medical parole. For the, um, the President pre Chen. Yeah, for yeah. President Chen. Mm -hmm. And I have a response, I wish I had brought it with me, that, that came. He didn't write it, but Mao didn't write it. Okay. One of his staff did. Oh, his staff but, responds to your letter. My yeah. letter. But I felt, so, I felt so angry because the one who wrote it must, think, must have thought I was a high school student. I mean, it, it really embarrassed me. I had been, I had been, I had more knowledge about what it takes place in the world, mm -hmm. the political world, that is, than he did. At least I felt that way. Yeah, so, that's really <laughs> shame, that. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, you know, and I, we didn't have done, but I know, I, see, I don't like to give up. I take on an issue. Mm -hmm. I take on a problem, and I give it my best. I've done a lot of research mm -hmm. on Taiwan. Uh, I have talked to other people mm -hmm. about, I don't know, had re uh, leaders come in, and scholars come in, mm -hmm. and uh, talk to the public, and I learned from them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that's basically what I thoroughly enjoy. If I didn't like what I was doing, I wouldn't be doing it. That's really for, uh, a, a very important for uh, people to enjoy the, what you, you, know, you believe and what you can stand up for, you know. Mm -hmm. And do you have any observation or anything that happened while you're in Taiwan? I understand you went 2000 and then 2004, right? I also went in uh -huh. 2009. 2009, I met you in an airplane. That's because correct. You go you're the to one. <laughs> <laughs> you and your husband, huh? Right. Yeah. 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 I kept my wife. Who's that lady? Yeah. I know her. <laughs> and you told me that you're going to visit President Chen in yes. the present. Right. And I, I feel, you know, um, I, I saw feel myself I should do as what Mr. Anderson to do and but that time we I only stopped Taiwan for one night and then we flew to some other place yeah so I regretted that not able to follow you to visit the present Chen. <laughs> so I remember that and anything that you observe and this or any event that strengthens your compassion to uh, speak out for Taiwanese people in Ta when you're in Taiwan, that both, you know, three trip, are there anything that else you want to share with us? Well, <clears throat> I've enjoyed every trip. I don't uh -huh. know if you know that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and out of that trip, uh, I, <clears throat> I have, um, my education has been in life. Mm -hmm. uh, I take the position that I don't care what ethnic group in the whole world, they're, they're, they're all alike. I don't care. But all of us have the same desires mm -hmm. uh, and, and we strive to, uh, to be successful. Uh, that, that's what our major, major premise that I have. Uh, Taiwanese people are well educated and that's one of the things. Of my, I have a very good friend who, who is Taiwanese who um, has his PhD in resource economics mm -hmm. and, and from Michigan State and he uh, he's helped be helpful in explaining some of the things that I he see. went through. So you do so. have uh, you made some um, good friends, uh, the yes. Taiwanese, that yes. they, they can help you to uh, understand the two different culture mm -hmm. and two different beliefs, and especially Chinese, Taiwanese, and American. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I don't make that mistake anymore. <laughs> I do not. <laughs> so th that's still yeah, um, a lot of hardworking Taiwanese American that they really hoping for our homeland mm -hmm. to blossom into fully democracy, mm -hmm. and like you say, fair play mm -hmm. and human right, and everyone is equal. This yes. is very important. Yes. Yeah, and I do very uh, thankful that uh, Mr. Anderson that stand out this and speak for us, and we. Do need an American friend that to speak for us. But well, we don't have enough of those, and that's I what know. I've been working yeah. on. And mm -hmm. uh, for uh, I don't mind saying this, and I uh, I'll say it probably I've said it publicly in many places. Some of my my friends, there are uh, church friends, etc., and I mm -hmm. talk to them about 
Taiwan, mm -hmm. et cetera, and, and we talk about some of the issues and, and the, the China is saying that, <clears throat> that uh, they want to take over Taiwan, and this is what my friends the church are saying, several of them have been. And I said, <clears throat> and I said, what do you mean China take over mm -hmm. Taiwan? He said, well, uh, uh, they're all Chinese. I said, let me stop you right now, because I made that mistake. Mm -hmm. They are not. They are Taiwanese and the difference in Chinese. And I said, if you ever get in front or around Taiwanese people, you better make sure you get all the difference. <laughs> yeah, and, they, and they looked at me so funny. I said, I'm not kidding. That's the kind of a thing that needs to be expressed to the wider fabric of our society in the United States. Yes, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it is uh, uh, very easy to be, you know, messed up by, you know, mm -hmm. different point of view, yeah. And uh, we're talking about um, uh, how to uh, keep uh, Taiwan's um, be visible in the international uh, society, and especially in the United States. It's very difficult, and uh, I think Friends of Taiwan play a vital role in this uh, aspect. Well, so, what you, um, what do you see that uh, you're going to take uh, Friends of Taiwan in the future? That's a very difficult mm. for me to respond to. Okay. I am, <clears throat> I am very disappointed that my board does not have the fire in the belly. Mm -hmm. that we had when I first, my first term as five years as president of Friends of Taiwan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Today I, I, don't, I don't see that. And if I don't see that, then what that does for me, it doesn't build me to want to move ahead, mm -hmm. to do the things that I know to be done. I'm beginning to see some change uh, in that, but uh, if they have a compassion for something, then let's, let's act like it. Mm -hmm. Let's work for it. And one of the problems, of course, and, and, and we have so many Taiwanese organizations, and they mm -hmm. don't seem to be coming to want to come together. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's, wants to be the boss. That's a good observation, yeah. You know, everybody wants to be the boss, mm -hmm. and you can't. I tell the people to me, I don't care who is the boss or gets the credit, I could care less. Mm -hmm. All I want to be sure is we accomplish our goals and our objectives. That, I mean, if you want to take credit for it, fine, mm -hmm. as long as we get there. That's a strong message. Well, <laughs> I believe it. And, I, and I he means it. And I use it. I, okay, I, don't, okay. I don't equivocate. If I have something, but I want people to understand that I work hard mm -hmm. to uh, really tell people uh, what I say, you know, and how I say it. And from that, and I, I, I just have to say it again. I, I do speak from my heart on these issues because I, I've mm -hmm. been, I've gone to college and have, have gotten mm -hmm. uh, my United, master's in international relations and that I've got my master's from USC in mm -hmm. public policy. They call it public, been a public administration, mm -hmm. but it's public mm -hmm. policy. Okay. And these kinds of things opens the door for me to understand. I, I need to tell you one time, so, I, since I had this opportunity, I'm going to use it. Uh, <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, um, Annette Liu was coming to, she landed in Las Vegas. I think. That was some time years back. Okay, that's a long and, time ago. Yeah, time. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I immediately uh, asked uh, Tico uh, mm -hmm. about, I said, I would like. Uh, to, since you're going to have the security with that problem, relationship, mm -hmm. I'd like to get the Friends of Taiwan a letter if we'd like to attend. And he said, he, I think it was, his last name was Jason. He was the TECO director. Mm -hmm. At the time. At yeah. the time. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, I, I can't, in all of the um, clubs, that, uh, the, it has been open. And uh, I was very, very angry. Mm -hmm. Because I knew it wasn't true. Yeah, so you had that kind of encounter with That's him. Right. Yeah, I see. And I wrote to the, mm -hmm. I wrote to a friend of mine who, mm -hmm. but that time it was a, mm -hmm. a uh, public relations uh, director for President Shui uh, Chen. Mm -hmm. and he said, Ted, don't, don't, don't lose your fire. Mm -hmm. 
please. It's it's over. I said yes, it's over. But I don't mind saying this because I, I I have a chance to get it off my chest. <laughs> Now you have a chance, and then you have a chance to call your board to be stand up and strong. <laughs> well, I do. I, I hope they do, and I hope this message gets across okay. to them. And we had some youthful, uh, young people, uh, but uh, most of those young people, and this is my opinion, and I could be wrong, is that what I see is that they have been pretty much all educated here, mm -hmm. yes. and very few, uh, I'm told, that. Uh, uh, and most of them speak English very well, uh -huh. and uh, so I, I said, well, uh, they don't have the, the background, and their parents apparently don't give them the the uh, opportunity to discuss some of the hard. And they they don't have the same experience with their parents that where they come from. That's so what's what yeah, I, I think they don't have a strong commitment, mm -hmm. and because they did not feel you know that urgent. You know, because they they have, they were born in the United States. Everything seems like, uh, you know, for granted. Everything they have is same as you know, they have democracy. They have uh, all yes. the yeah yes. opportunity to go to best school, and so uh, it's long time. It's it's still a long time to go for our second generation to take charge. Yeah, I know we have to be patient, but uh, I. I'm wishing and hoping that, you know, they can grow up soon. <laughs> well, I hope so too. I, I, it, it needs to be done in a hurry, tell you <laughs> I know, yeah, it, the, the, the baton needs to go to give to the younger generation. But, uh, but I, it's just uh, some hope though. When, uh, today I go into the Google search and I saw uh, TaiwaneseAmerican.org and it a lot of young people are chatting, and there are a lot of uh, uh, events uh, put on the post. That did you ever try that? Um, I don't recall. We have yeah. a website, but I don't think that uh, not many people use it. So it's just a matter of uh, time, and then uh, like Japanese American on the Second World War, mm -hmm. if you have that kind of exper experience that they're heart hurting and price uh, human right. That's why Japanese American can stand up. Right? What do you think? And then uh, <laughs> I sure. hope that kind of history will not repeat. It was my I lived in a neighborhood that had several Japanese families. Mm -hmm. And my father was a contractor and they <coughs> the Japanese in San Pedro, they were really ripped off by people just actually stealing and, and giving them almost nothing for very valuable property. Mm -hmm. And so my uh, dad allowed them to store a lot of their very, very uh, good equipment, expensive equipment, mm -hmm. in their cars. And we kept them up in there. And uh, they went out to, I think, Colorado. Mm -hmm. and, and I was uh, go to Colorado. And then the lady, the mother of just a very good friend of ours, uh, she uh, eventually was sent to uh, a, a, a family to, to post in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And she was teaching Navy officers Japanese. And uh, I don't know, everybody is in that group. We, we, were, we went to elementary school, junior high school, and high school all together the same. Mm -hmm. So I knew them well, and I know the problem now. Yeah, yeah. And I knew mm -hmm. that the, the general that ordered the removal, and the LA Times played a, a large role in this in getting them removed from the Mm -hmm. from the coast. Yeah, that was a very painful yeah. experience for yeah. um, mm -hmm. and my position, family. Yeah. My father's position was, why don't you do that to the Germans and the Italians? <laughs> yeah. yeah, same position. That's yeah, right. it is the same position. Yeah. 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 And of course, a lot of people said, well, you, you, you can't tell the difference. So that these are the situations that, that's one thing, you, it's hard to overcome. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's you need, not need to be worked on. In our country, uh, you know, the United States, if you can, when you read the newspapers, the dailies, listen to on television, things are happening in this country that I have some feelings that, hey, we're, we're actually curtailing, and uh, when I say curtailing, our, 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 our rights, mm -hmm. our liberties, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. by people out of Washington, D.C.
and that, that worries me, and I hope they wake up to this. I don't accuse any one person or any group, but that, that seems to be happening. And I hope that people will tell me, no, that's not happening. So we, we, we do all kind of um, like a nonprofit organization, and we remind people, you know, what's in, in our democracy value, and then mm -hmm. I'm just hoping that this kind of issue will not repeat in this country yes, anymore. Definitely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, being a Taiwanese American myself, I really appreciate that what uh, President Ted Anderson did for the Taiwanese community, especially in Great Los Angeles area. Mm -hmm. And we wish you health as this, continue, never get old. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. And then the organization needs you because the, the younger generation is not ready to take over. <laughs> well, let, I thank you for that comment. I really, but I want you to know seriously, mm -hmm. I haven't completed my mission yet. I don't want to leave this terrestrial bubble until it's done. Thank you. Yeah. That was conclude our interview. And I'd just like to say a few words in Taiwanese to our community. Uh,请来雄亲,啊,都家,啊,Tedenison,一种英语公斤,谁为,我先问,我们可以repeat,我们可以上中央,大家都是,但每一个人,一无真正,大家人的朋友,修的,大家人的朋友,呃,呃,感